Today, we're jumping into one of the biggest, most exciting shifts happening in AI right now, AI agents. We're gonna break down what they are, and even better, I'm gonna show you how you can build your very own team of agents. And the best part? We'll be using tools that are totally free and require zero coding. Seriously? Let's get into it. You've probably been here before, right? You're using an AI assistant like ChatGPT for a big task. Maybe you're trying to write some code or draft a research plan. It gives you some awesome ideas, some really solid snippets of code, but they're just that, pieces. You're the one who has to stitch it all together, do the final assembly, and actually finish the job. It's helpful for sure, but it's not done. And that right there is the huge difference between an AI assistant and an AI agent. This slide just lays it out perfectly. An assistant is like a partner. It helps you out. But an agent, an agent is a worker. It acts on your behalf to get a goal done. An assistant gives you the puzzle pieces, but an agent takes the box, looks at the picture on the front, and puts the whole puzzle together for you. So what's the magic word that makes an agent an agent? It's that one right there, autonomous. See, an autonomous agent doesn't need you to hold its hand every step of the way. You give it a big picture goal and it has the power to look at its digital environment, make its own decisions, and take action all by itself to get the job done. It's a total game changer. Okay, I know what you might be thinking. This sounds super advanced, probably expensive, like something only big companies can use. But nope, that's where you'd be wrong. Today, we're going to see how to build a really powerful team of agents with a toolkit that is 100% free and available to literally everyone. So instead of these pricey platforms, we are tapping into the incredible power of open source frameworks. And the main one we're going to use is this fantastic tool for managing our AI crew. And here it is. It's called Crew AI. The best way to think about Crew AI is like it's the manager or maybe the conductor of an orchestra. It's a framework that lets you set up different AI agents, give each one a specific role and a job to do, and then it orchestrates all of them so they can work together as a team to handle a really complex task. But wait, where do the brains for these agents come from? Well, that's where a local LLM fits in. An LLM, or a large language model, is the AI model that does the thinking. A local LLM, like the super popular Llama 3.1, is one you can actually download and run right on your own computer. No cloud, no APIs, just pure AI power sitting on your machine. And the benefits of doing this are just amazing. First off, it costs zero dollars to run. Once you have the model, you can use it all day long and never see a bill. Second, you get total data privacy. Nothing ever leaves your computer, so your secrets stay your secrets. And third, it works offline. You don't even need the internet to get your AI crew to work. All right, enough talk. We have our free toolkit, so let's actually build something. For our project, we're gonna create what I'm calling the AI research crew. We'll put together a simple team of two agents whose job is to research the latest trends in Kubernetes, which is a big deal in app management, and then write a nice summary report. Now you might be thinking, this sounds complicated, but check this out. It's really just four simple steps. We'll set up our environment, then we'll tell our agents who they are and what their job is. After that, we give them their specific tasks. And finally, we just tell the crew to run. That's it. And when I say define their rules, I'm not talking about writing a bunch of complicated code. Look at this. This is from a simple text file. We just give our first agent, the researcher, a goal written in plain English. Uncover cutting edge developments in Kubernetes. That one little line tells the agent everything it needs to know about its purpose. So, how do they work together? Well, it's just as simple. In the task file for our researcher agent, the very last instruction is basically to take what it found and pass it over to the reporting analyst agent. This is how you build a workflow, you know? It's like an assembly line where one agent's work becomes the next agent's starting point. So, after we've defined our agents and their tasks in these super simple files, what does it take to get this whole autonomous crew up and running? Just this. A single two-word command you type into your terminal. Crew AI run. That's it. That's the big red button you push to let your agents go to work. So we set up the crew, we gave them their roles, we gave them their mission, and we ran the command. What happened? Let's take a look at the payoff, the actual thing that our AI crew created completely on its own. And here it is. This is a little piece from the final report that our reporting analyst agent generated. I mean, look at the quality here. It's identifying key trends like AI integration and platform engineering. 
A human didn't write this. This was researched and synthesized by our two agents working together in just a matter of minutes. Hmm. But if you have a sharp eye, you might have noticed something. The report is titled for 2025, and yeah, the topics are relevant, but they aren't exactly the freshest, hottest news from, like, today. So what gives? Well, this is actually a really great learning moment. The answer is all about a core AI concept called the knowledge cutoff. An AI model, even a really smart one, doesn't know things in real time. It only knows what was in the giant pile of data it was trained on. So our free local llama model was probably trained on data up to sometime in 2023, which means it literally has no idea what happened in 2024. And this brings us to a really fundamental trade-off you have to think about. On one side, you've got local LLMs, like the one we just used. They're free, they're private, but their knowledge might be a little stale. On the other side, you have API models from companies like OpenAI. They've got that up-to-the-minute info because they're always being updated, but they cost money every time you use them, and you have to send your data out over the internet. But let's just step back and really think about what we just did here. With just a few simple text files and a single command, we spun up an autonomous team of two AI agents that cranked out a high-quality research report in just a few minutes. And so that leaves us with one last really exciting question. If two agents can pull that off, what could a whole crew of them with all sorts of different skills and roles build for you? The tools are out there, they're free, and they are ready for you to get started.